Okay guys, today's video I'm working on my 1984 Chevy Caprice two-door. So I bought this thing at an auction site unseen. Uh, I've got to replace the ignition cylinder so I can turn the key, put a battery in it, and I'm hoping this thing's going to crank over. Fingers crossed. So I just aired up the tire. Going to put a little bit of air in this tire. It says bad rim on it. That's fantastic. Fantastic, because I want this thing to roll into the shop real nice and easy. Don't need it to be on low tires. I got to say, I really love this color, and uh, the paperwork to the original owner is actually inside of the car. So I'm going to be looking this guy up on Facebook and seeing if I can get in touch with him, which if he bought this car brand new in 1984, the odds of him being on Facebook are kind of slim to none, I feel like, because, uh, you know, what? this is like an older person car, so that would probably be... He was in his 40s. I'm in my 40s, so yes, I'm old. Uh, when he bought this car in like 1984, that was 84, 94, 04. Yeah, it's 20, so 19 years ago. So he's going to be 60, basically 60 years old. Right? So, he would have been in his 40s in like 84, 94, 04. Oh, shoot. He's going to be in his 70s to 80s. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll. I'm going to look this guy up and see what I can find. I was hoping this thing had the big bolt pattern on it, but this looks like the small Chevy bolt pattern which is going to put me in a spot because I told a guy that I was going to take the rallies off my four-door and put it on this car and these wheels would go on the other car. I don't think they'll fit. All right, got air in the tires. Let me pop the hood, knock this thing in neutral, and uh, let it roll back into the garage. Okay, I've got the car in the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, steering wheel off and we're gonna replace this ignition lock cylinder. I'm getting so used to this, it's like it's nothing anymore. So I've already got the tools pulled out and I'm gonna do it.
So now that I've got the uh, ignition switch changed, the tumbler, I am hooking up the battery. And we're going to see what happens. Dome light works. Interior lights work. Key on. Let's try cranking. She's spinning over. No way! No way! Check engine light is on. <laughs> it runs! Let me get this thing out of the shop. It goes in gear. Brakes work. The choke is hanging on a long time. Oh, I'm so excited. $2,000 in it and all I had to do was change the key and put a battery in it and put some air in the tire. Winning! Winning! Okay. The, the choke is hanging in there but it's getting close to idling. Let's see if the stereo works. Menu. Radio. Okay, I hear something. It works. Trunk works. sound and exhaust. It's not too loud, but it's a good sound and exhaust. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so happy that the trunk lock, the electric actuator works. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to have to see if this thing has all the gears in it.
hopefully I didn't drive far hopefully I uh, didn't damage the transmission Oh man, I guess this place out. So is that the low mark? It's uh, good enough to uh, run it. I'm gonna take it down the road and check it again. All right, I don't know if the uh, power windows work. Power door locks work. All right. Oh, reverse feels good. thing's a floater. <laughs> I said a floater. Oh, that feels good. I think it already shifted second. Transmission. give this thing some gas, some ethanol free gas. I'm sure it's gonna So I'm back in the shop. I'm really excited. Uh, this thing's going to get a oil change next because I don't want to be driving around with uh, who knows how old this oil is that's in it. So uh, going to go to the store, get an oil filter and some oil for it and change oil. And I'm going to have dinner. So I'll see y'all after dinner with the oil.
show you how let me show you how clean the inside of the engine is. I don't know if you can see in there, but it is clean in that hole. I'm surprised this thing's not sludge slam up. So someone's been doing their oil changes. That's great. Good for me. So what do we got in this book? We've got uh, color bronze, 1984 Chevy Caprice engine, 5.0 liter V8, 305. Yeah, oil filter PF25, air cleaner A348C, spark plugs R45TS, even gives the 0.045 gap. Headlamp inter gives he gives the headlight part numbers. I'm gonna have to use that because someone shot because because someone shot out the headlights with BBs. And even this guy was meticulous. Okay. So service February second or February January February two twenty three oh four. Install four new tires and valve stems. Balance and the miles were 28,492. Cost $224.68. February 23rd of 04, they changed their oil filter, grease front, foot on disc pad, resurface rotor, front repack wheel bearings, blah, 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 blah. Wow, this guy kept records. This is awesome. Even has down that in 07, they changed the wiper blades, trichos, and in December, 18th, 2011, they changed the oil, filter, did not grease front end. Mileage was 60,287. And is that it? That is it. Got some receipts okay. in here. So it's the next day, I went to the store and I bought some new locks for the driver's and passenger door. So I'm gonna be installing that. Uh, should be pretty easy, uh, but I do have to remove the the inside door panel. This can be a little bit tricky being as old as the car is. You don't want to tear up the inner door panel. It's possible, but I'm gonna try to be as careful as possible. So uh, let's get this door open and uh, start taking the panel apart. Okay guys, so uh, I tried changing out the lock on the rear trunk. 
I took the old one out and I just so happened to be testing the new one that I was going to install. It was the correct one now. But every single key that I have in this shop pretty much would unlock that lock. So it was a defective lock. I had to return it. New one won't be in until 4 o'clock this afternoon. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some different wheels on this car. I was thinking of torque thrust but I don't have any at the moment that's, or that's available to put on this car. So I've got the rallies on the white four-door uh, Caprice seen here. And I'm gonna take the wheels off the white Caprice and I'm gonna put them on this car. this thing's gonna be awesome awesome all right well let's pull this thing back in the shop and we're gonna close up the shop because I, I'll be
be honest, I'm not feeling too good today. So I'm gonna go home and go to bed and see how I feel because I got to be on the road at 5.30 in the morning. If I don't feel like getting on the road at 5.30 in the morning, I ain't gonna go. So let's uh, pull this thing into the shop. Not enough time. It's already like five o'clock in the afternoon. You know, I gotta see if this thing will do a burnout right. Looks like the garage is on fire. Looks like I smoked out the whole property. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get some rest. I'll catch y'all later. Happy Father's Day, Dad. <laughs>